A grieving mother feels like justice is now served. Charges are filed against the owner of a Michigan City daycare where a five-year-old boy accidentally hanged himself. WSBT's James Fillmore is at the live desk right now, and James, she's charged with two felonies. LaPorte County prosecutors charged 43-year-old Trisha Calvin with involuntary manslaughter and reckless homicide, Rick. Some people I spoke to think the charges are fitting, but others say they're too harsh. In June, five-year-old Amarion Williams was rushed to the hospital after his neck got tangled in a jump rope hanging from an outdoor play set at Trisha's Playhouse in Michigan City. Police say the only two caregivers at the daycare were inside when it happened. Amarion eventually died. Anita LaFleur, the mother, received a call this afternoon from a detective, the lead detective who was investigating this incident on behalf of the Michigan City Police, indicating the charges were going to be brought against three different people, the owner of the facility as well as the two women who were in attendance that day. Anita LaFleur's attorney Mark Novak says his client has always felt that the people who were in charge of caring for her son at the daycare should be held responsible for what happened. She expressed to me that she had tremendous satisfaction that justice was finally going to be done. Angel Paul used to live near Trisha's playhouse. She thinks the charges against Trisha Calvin are fair because she says it was her business and her responsibility. Paul says one time she was walking by the daycare and witnessed something disturbing. The younger kids were darting out the front door where the boulevard is and would get to the sidewalk before an adult would even come out. Tim McCorkle knows Trisha Calvin and used to help out and do odd jobs at the daycare when needed. He doesn't agree with the charges. It was an accident, you know, in my eyes. You know, children do things, you know, you can't watch them 100% of the time. A warrant was issued for Trisha Calvin's arrest. Now, a few minutes ago, I called Michigan City Police. I asked if Calvin had been arrested yet or if she turned herself in, and an officer told me no. LaFleur's attorney plans on sitting down with police and prosecutors early next week to find out the exact details of what their investigation revealed. At the live desk, James Fillmore, WSBT Channel 22 News. Well, a nine-year-old had a scare tonight after a Mishawaka police officer.